Hi teens, thanks for checking in today. Uh, today we are going to make these really cool DIY um, clay diffuser necklaces and I'm going to show you how to make them. They're really cool because you can make whatever um, design or pattern on the clay that you wish to make and you can even add your very own uh, essential oil so it's very uniquely yours. The first thing you'll need to do is come to the library, pop into the lobby, and pick up um, a teen craft bag. And inside, you will find a block of clay, uh, some leather cord, a wooden bead, and a toothpick. Now, you will not find the essential oil in your bag. Once you get your bag, you'll need to go to the front desk and a staff member will give you um, several different um, essential oils and you can kind of choose your own uh, fragrance, which one you like the best, and then you'll take that oil home with you, okay? So don't forget that part about checking in at the front desk to choose your oil, okay? So you've got your craft bag with all your supplies and you've picked up um, a bottle of essential oil at the front desk and uh, you've also got your instructions. So I'm going to uh, just kind of show you real quickly how you will make um, your clay necklace. All right, so let's start with uh, a piece of foil or parchment paper and you'll spread that out onto a table and you'll start getting your um, clay here. And what you'll do is start kind of kneading that clay, um, getting it nice and soft and pliable. Uh, you will not use the whole entire block of clay, but um, there'll be plenty there um, for you to be able to, to make a necklace or two out of. So we just kind of start kneading that and getting it nice and soft and then break off a chunk. And this is kind of going to be, um, in your mind, how big you want it to be. So a larger chunk, if you want um, you know, a bigger disc or pendant, um, a smaller chunk if you just want something very small. So that's entirely up to you. And just kind of work that. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and just kind of work with it. You'll see on the outside of your craft bag, um, there'll be a, a, a color written there, um, and that will be the color of the clay that's in your bag. And you'll have a choice of tons of different really cool colors. So um, I've chosen yellow, and I'm just kind of squishing that around, and I'm gonna put it down here onto um, the parchment or the foil. And you'll want to start rolling this out no more than about a quarter inch thick. So just kind of press it. And then you need some kind of uh, lid. So you could use a bottle cap um, or anything like that that's round or anything that you can press down that you like the shape of and just kind of press that down. Okay, and there you'll have um, the shape of your, your disc. Okay. And just kind of get it smoothed out. Um, here I've made um, one that is using a smaller lid to a soda bottle. And then this one is a little bit larger. So again, the uh, size is completely up to you. Now, onto um, the surface, you're going to make your design. And you can do this a number of different ways. Um, you can take a toothpick, oh, which by the way is also in your bag, and you can kind of just etch a design onto um, your clay. Um, maybe, you know, a heart or flowers or a leaf um, or, you know, really anything that you can come up with. Um, or if you find a really cool um, item that has a textured surface, you can press it down. Um, the one that I made actually 
um, I had a beet tenderizer, uh, which like had lots of little bumps on it, and I just pressed that down into the clay. So you can really make any kind of um, design uh, that you want into uh, the clay, and uh, it'll show up really well onto your clay. Um, and just kind of have fun with that. You can make a smiley face. Oh my gosh, anything that you want. Flowers, anything at all is really cool. Now you'll take your toothpick and create a hole um, at the top of your clay disc and you'll just run that through there making a hole. Make sure that you've got it um, you know, large enough to accommodate one end of the uh, cord that's in your bag. Um, so. Don't make it tiny. You want to make it, you know, kind of biggish. Okay. So I think now we're ready to bake. You will take your foil or your parchment paper and put it onto a baking sheet and then slide it into your oven, which would be uh, 250 degrees preheated. Um, and then just bake that on the baking sheet for about 15 minutes. Um, when it's done, you'll remove it from the oven, let it cool down, and then we will um, take our cord here and we're going to just, um, actually I'm going to use one that's already baked, here we go, um, and slide your cord right through the hole there, just like this, both ends through the hole, and then kind of flip it, the, the, the ends through the loop there and just pull. And this is kind of, I think, what they might call a Chinese knot. Uh, so it looks just like that. And you've got your two loose ends with your disc in the center. Okay. Um, also in your bag, you'll have a wooden bead. And you'll just want to kind of slide the wooden bead right through uh, the cord as well. The bead is uh, much harder to get through, <laughs> uh, but it will go through. And you just kind of pull those um, through the wooden bead and um, then just uh, slide that right down to the end of the necklace and you will have a necklace that just looks like something like this okay so there you have it it's just beautiful uniquely yours with your choice of color your choice of texture or design, and your choice of the fragrance. So that's what I love about, about these necklaces. Did you know that essential oil can enhance our cognitive um, performance? It can improve our memory, our focus, and our creativity. Essential oil can also um, calm us and soothe us. Uh, it can sometimes invigorate us and even lift our mood. All right, now with your oil, you only want to apply this, um, at, of course, after the clay is baked, and you're just going to um, apply, oh, one to three drops of oil right onto your necklace. You kind of take your fingertip and rub it in there, just like that. It'll be shiny for a minute, so just let that dry. I chose uh, lemongrass for my fragrance. Oh, and it smells amazing. And uh, you can just apply some of the oil each time you wear your necklace. So there you have it. Your very own uh, clay uh, necklace, which is wonderful. And I hope you guys enjoy making it and wearing it. Um, so yeah, come into the library, pick up your bag, pick up your oil, and you'll have everything that you need to get started. Thank you so much for joining me today, um, and we'll see you next time.